Good morning, everyone. Uh, buenos dias. Uh, first, uh, maybe as we said goodbye to the month of June, uh, the City Health Office continuously uh, advocating the No Smoking Month, and until now, we're still having our ongoing uh, lectures to all the uh, police uh, stations in the city of Sambuanga, and uh, we have had uh, the seminar also conducted at Western Mindanao State University and the Marine Science and Technology. Also, in uh, about a week from now, uh, the City Health Office, together with RMN e Media, will be launching the Cuento de Salud, uh, and this will be, and we will give an opportunity also for the public to know what is really happening in the city of Sambuanga pertaining to health. For the next slide, for the Department of Health calendar, for this month of July, we're celebrating Nutrition Month, National Blood Donors Month, National Disaster Consciousness Month, National Allergy Month, World Population Day, National Disability Prevention, and National Diabetes Awareness Week. Next slide. For the Nutrition Month celebration, the theme for this uh, month will be Calamidad, Paghandaan, Gutum, and Malnutrition Agapan. Disaster Preparedness, Hunger, and Malnutrition Prevented. We had the kick-off activities in Tulungatung Barangay, a motorcade from city proper to Tulungatung was conducted last July 2, 2014. Yeah, in the kick-off ceremonies, we have had the awarding of the severely acute malnourished children and the moderately acute malnourished children, so the internally displaced uh, persons who achieved uh, normal weight and was able to graduate from the status of Sam and Mom. Then also in that activity, we had uh, this, the launching of the dairy milk feeding. In a, this is again in uh, coordination with the Bernardo Farm. Where, who donated to us uh, daily milk feeding for uh, the period of six months to about 300 students in Ayala Central School. Then also on that same day, we have had, uh, we were able to get about 2,000 cc of human milk donation uh, out of the breastfeeding mothers and uh, in the health centers and we have turned it over already to the Savoga City Medical Center. So these are some of the pictures that we have taken during the kickoff activities of the nutrition month. Then also for this month, we'll have Blood Donors Month, National Diabetes Week. In this connection, we will be having the awards night or awarding of top barangays with mobile blood donation. This will also be a joint project of the Rotary Club of Sambuanga City and the Sambuanga City Blood Council. We have had blood donations in Ayala, Putik, and Santa Catalina. For the National Diabetes Week preparation, we will have random blood sugar determination and a diabetic clinic at the City Hall on July 28, 2014 after the flag ceremony. This is for the public. And then uh, we will be organizing the diabetes support group in the city of Sambuanga, noting that uh, diabetes remains uh, number nine in the mortality list of uh, deaths in the city of Sambuanga. Then for the Dia de Alcadesa, from the month of April to June, we have served 24 barangays with 4,360 patients attended conducted Operation Tuli in Vitali and Patalun. And of course, we'd like to acknowledge the Task Force Sambuanga Medical Team, the West Minco Medical Team, the PAF, or the Philippine Air Force Medical Team, the Physician Across Continent, and the Philippine Academy of Family Physicians who have been with us and assisting us in the conduct of Dia del Cadesa. For our Dengue report, this seems a little bit alarming because for the month of June, we exceeded the figure as noted as compared to last year. Last year, the month of June, we only had uh, registered 379 cases, but now we have reached 448 cases already for the month of June. And we hope and pray that we will be able to stop and prevent more cases coming to the city for the month of July. And for the mortality in Dengue, we have had registered already from January up to this time, 13 deaths and only for the month of May we have registered six deaths. For June, uh, because of the of the cleanup drives that we have been conducting in several barangays, I think we notice a decline in the mortality. We only have registered one. Okay, next slide. Take note of the top barangays with dengue fever in the city of Sambuanga. Uh, number one is Talun Talun. This is based on frequency. Talun Talun, Tugbungan, so, uh, third is uh, Tetuan, followed by Tumaga, Rio Hondo, Putik, Santa Catalina, San Roque, Ayala, Santa Maria, Baliwasan, and so on and so forth. 
For the transitory sites and evacuation center updates, for the last four weeks, week 24 to week 27, this covers the months of June 9 to July 2014. A total of 15 deaths were reported at Masempla, Talun Talun School, JEMC, and Kawakawa Shoreline. Five males and ten females, eight under five years old. 26% of course occurred in health facilities. Maybe they were brought to the hospitals and uh, died in the hospital. 26%, but most of them, or uh, the other percentage, a uh, higher percentage, they don't uh, bring them to health facilities, they attend to their patients on their uh, own. Okay, next. The breakdown of cases, suspected measles, pneumonia, neonatal deaths, we have three, AGE, cardiovascular causes, unknown malignancy and stroke. I think pneumonia is still ranks there as number one. But again, uh, based on the emergency threshold as per SPEAR standard, uh, we have not reached the emergency threshold uh, based on the number of mortalities uh, that has occurred from June 9 to July 6. When uh, the, uh, the crude mortality rate of 0.2 during this time, the crude mortality rate by the emergency threshold is still 1%. And for the uh, under five mortality, it's 0.8, and uh, the under five mortality should be more than 2%. So again, we did not reach the emergency thresholds. September 9 to July 6, in total, this is from the start, we have already registered 143 deaths. And of course, 53% of these are males, and 50% are in children. At least 65% outside health facilities. Okay, so this is just to term, determine the breakdown of sex and age, uh, 66 females and 77 males. Mortalities of the month, we took uh, note that uh, for the month of uh, June, we have had a, a high mortality, and uh, again, number one of this is pneumonia. So it is still something to do with uh, the shelter that they're in right now. For for the mortalities for the month of July, on the first week, we have already registered one. The number of deaths per week in CMR, if you notice, that dotted line there is the root mortality rate emergency threshold. This means to say that the condition is already very serious. But uh, look at our figure, it's still way, way below the emergency threshold. And then, that is for the, uh, the number of deaths. This one is for those in the under five age group. Although the under five age group has been registering high in the number of cases, but yet uh, we still haven't reached the CMR, or the, I mean the emergency threshold, okay? So these are the overall uh, causes of uh, death. Number one, pneumonia with 28 cases, then followed by acute gastroenteritis. Then if you notice the third there is unknown because usually when uh, when um, uh, our IDPs, especially the Muslims, dies, they should really wear the page that uh, death within 24 hours. So sometimes uh, we cannot extract any more the correct history as to the cause of death. So we always classify them as unknown. Okay, next slide. This is for the under five uh, mortality. Uh, again, AGE is still ranks number one. This is acute gastroenteritis. Pneumonia followed by neonatal death. Neonatal is a uh, uh, from the period of 0 to 28 days. So right after delivery, they die, okay? Then, uh, this is for the above 60 years old. You know, the number one cause of death is cardiovascular disease. 13 uh, of those cases died of cardiovascular cause. Updates, the City Health Office, the ICRC, the PRC, uh, will create a mobile team to augment the medical personnel in the field to go on rotation at uh, the old and new transitory sites. We have had a meeting last uh, two days ago with ICRC, and uh, this is the outcome of the meeting, that they're going to provide and help us with a mobile team, and that will go around the transitory sites. Continuous monitoring and disease surveillance at the different evacuation centers. The City Health Office, uh, BHS, nutrition tents were set up already inside the Joaquin F. Enriquez Memorial. Uh, the health centers located outside is now relocated inside the evacuation uh, in the evacuation center in the Grandstand area. And of course, we have distributed, there are distributed equipments and basic medical apparatus to Mampang and other tech, transitory sites by the ICRC. Uh, we have continued our MMR immunizations 
Then, of course, mothers and children are followed up weekly, especially the pregnant and the lactating mothers. We have uh, reproductive health medical missions uh, regularly. Health programs are being implemented for tuberculosis inside the camp. And the first aid kits distributed by UNICEF and to be given to the camp managers, especially after their training on uh, emergency this week. Food packs from ICRC and PRC to be given. This is a plan of ICRC. <coughs> to IDP families with vulnerable individuals this coming July and uh, 7 to 8. Then uh, starting next week, the City Health Office Medical Services will be available at the JFEMC from Mondays to Fridays, 8 to 4 p.m. just to be able to prevent further deaths and further uh, diseases in the camps.